girl Brie Nicole and I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about tips and tricks for new LPNs or RNs that are deciding to work at a long-term care facility. Um, these are just a few med pass tips for new nurses that I didn't know about. So I just kind of made a list of everything that I'm going to talk about today on my phone. And I'm just going to start off by saying I worked at a long-term care facility for two and a half years full-time um the other half of a year i worked prn or part-time because i did work at least like two days a week so i was at lpn for a total of three years before i started my rn career at a hospital so these tips would have been lifesavers for me when i started here because i just kind of had to learn a routine on my own i trained with someone for like a month but still it was just still hard getting in like a groove on your own um, versus just watching someone else do it their way because um, you may find your own way that may be more helpful and easier for you. So after counting narcotics, I like to make sure that my cart was fully stocked up with cups, straws, water, pudding for people that take their meds crushed or applesauce. Um, thickened liquids because some patients were on thickened liquids. Also, insures, they were refrigerated. So I like to make sure I had enough of those for the residents that got insured during med pass. Some meds that residents got were kept in the refrigerator. So I like to know like if I was given that with my eight o'clock med pass, do I need to go ahead and get that so I don't have to come back down the hall to get something out of the refrigerator. So I kind of like to skim over stuff to see um, what patients were on. We had a sheet that shows like appointments for the day, um, visits for the day, and all of that, baths and all, everything for certain patients. So I always like to check that to see like who had baths for the day, um, appointments for the day, visits with families for the day, because that kind of plays a part in how your med pass is gonna go because um, patients that had appointments needed to go ahead and take their meds because sometimes they would leave like right after breakfast. Um, and also dialysis, there was a list of patients who had to leave for dialysis, so you needed to know that. Also, patients who are on dialysis do not take blood pressure meds the day of dialysis. So you would have to know that like if they're on um, a beta blocker or something, like do not give that med, just give like their vitamins and stuff. And the patients that had appointments would ha need to have paperwork ready. So I just like to make sure that that paperwork was ready for them because you do not want to be scrambling, trying to um, copy their mark, copy their um, past medical history and all of that for the doctor's appointments. Like you do not want to have transport backed up because they may not be the only one that has an appointment that day. And when I was PRN, I was floating from different halls. So I'd also would get a list of the patients and I would just ask the nurse, um, I just need a refresher on who takes their meds crushed, um, like maybe one at a time, anything that could help you out during your med pass. So I did like to get that from that nurse to know like who was on like the thickened liquids and stuff. So I would know ahead of time before getting to that patient. And also I had like a little small um, spiral notebook that I like to keep to write down um, my PRN meds because I would later fill out my report sheet so I would like to know like, you know you have those residents that like their PRN payments or Ativan on time. You know, everybody has those people in their facility. So I would like to know, okay, when's the last time he got his payment? So I'll know like when I need to be getting it ready for him. So he won't be walking around looking for me or well, him or her. So I'd like to get my notebook ready to write down, okay, they got their payment last at this time. So. When I'm giving morning meds, I'll let them know like, hey, you'll be able to get your med again at such and such time. And also, like I said, I had a notebook with me on the cart to write everything down or you can get a report sheet to write stuff down. But I kind of like to just do it on loose leaf paper first and then go back and put it on my report sheet so that I don't like start and stuff out or mess anything up. So like whenever I was giving meds, I would also like to write down um any complaints from the residents or anything that they needed from me um sometimes they would say like i've been hurting right here or i've had a headache or just something random i would like to write it down to make a note of it because we did have doctor's books 
um the gut check i think like every couple of days by their nurse practitioners so i would just write down what they would say like what's hurting so when the nurse practitioner would come they would grab those books to see like what patients had complaints on like just random things so they could ask them about you know like hey what's been going on in case it slips their mind and they tell them that nothing's been going on because you did have people that would say they're hurting one minute and then the next day they wouldn't be hurting and we also had these sheets called medication refill sheets i've always liked to grab one of those i don't know if every facility has them but it's a sheet that we um fill out for pharmacy with medication refill needs so i always like to grab one of those so that when i'm giving meds when it got down to like five meds i would sometimes 10 i would put a sticker on that sheet to let them know like hey y'all need to be bringing more meds because some stuff wasn't even in stock so it would take a little bit longer for the pharmacy to get it to us and i'm really talking about the eight o'clock med pass so i would get to work around 6 45 and i would always start my med pass an hour before that hour before is crucial because when i first started there was a time where i was giving meds from about 7 to 10 10 o'clock it took me from 7 to 10 to get, do that 8 o'clock med pass it was really hard but i finally got a routine down by the time i left i would be done with meds at like 8 45 so yeah i got a good routine down that and i had up to like 36 residents so once you get in a routine and you know like who takes their meds fast and who takes longer to take their meds or who's up already ready to take their meds you'll know like okay i can get down here and get these meds out really really fast or just for any like med pass like the ones midday even though you don't have too many people getting meds at like 12 or 2 you can always start an hour early um just so you can be done on time just something extra that I put in. I put something about two feeders because they have like their own separate med passes like throughout the day. Ours were mainly at 4A and 4P. So I just put, make sure that they have water available to um, give their meds because I've gotten to a room and the two feeder didn't have any more water to like put their crushed pills in or just to flush with. So I always like to check to see like if they have water available before starting my med pass because it's like, you know, annoying having to stop and go get water for that. And also syringes. I like to keep extra syringes for the two feeders in the cart because I don't know how many times those syringes got thrown away by staff, like just as a mistake. And I had to go back to the desk with the nurse's station to get another syringe. Um, to give their meds so i always like to have some of those available in the bottom drawer also some decloggers because if they get a lot of meds those tubes can easily get clogged up and i always like to keep decloggers available for that reason and also stethoscopes to take placement of their peg tubes and since I'm talking about tube feeders, I also noted, um, I always like to look at their feeding when I get to work so I'll know like around what time their feeding is gonna end so I can have it available to hang up a new bottle because you don't wanna be in the middle of med pass and realize that they're almost out of tube feeding. So when I'm doing like walking rounds, I like to look at their feedings to know, okay, they got about an hour or two hours left. Um, do I need to change this before I even start my med pass so that it doesn't go off? So that's another thing you would like to make note of. I forgot to mention um, just nursing home activities because throughout the day, there are certain activities that go on in the day room like a bingo. Um, on Sundays, they have church. Sometimes they just watch movies and stuff. So just get a list of all your activities for that day because you'll find out which residents like to attend the activities every day there are some that don't miss anything and that can kind of mess up your med pass or throw it off because they may be at an activity and you may be looking for them for like five minutes um trying to give their meds but if you know who likes to go to activities um you'll know that I'll just put their med to the side or just have them last on the list. And also we had a beauty shop in our um, 
facilities. So there were residents on a list who went to the beauty shop certain days of the week. So that was also something to make note of. And one last thing, my facility did allow smoking. So there were designated times throughout the day set aside for them to go out on the patio and smoke. They got to go out four times a day. So for 30 minutes each time. So that's also something you may want to make note of because um, some residents will be outside on that patio smoking um, when we would be looking for them to give medicine. And I think that is pretty much everything that I really could think of that would cause me to have like a delay in my med pass. I think everything else um, I talked about and went over. So just comment down below what other videos y'all would like to see from me. If I missed something, just comment down below and I'll be sure to answer your questions. Like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what other videos y'all would like to see and I will be sure to get back with y'all and put that on my list of videos to do. I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.